Hello, my name is Jason Abraham, and I'm a single father of three grown children and a proud grandfather of two awesome grandkids. I grew up in Columbia, South Carolina, but now currently live in Florence. I received a bachelor's degree in hotel, restaurant, and tourism administration from the University of South Carolina, and for the next three years, I was an unfocused spirit, concentrating more on partying, raising my kids, and making money to support my family and my lifestyle. I had no direction and professionally was unhappy. As fate would have it, I ended up in Japan as a dependent of an army soldier. Being both a college graduate and articulate, I was offered a position as a language teacher. When I first sat in front of a group of students, I knew I had found what I was destined to do. Since that time, I have garnered a master's degree in special education and spent over seven years working as a special education teacher. In Robert Greene's book, Mastery, he writes about the five strategies to finding one's life task. The first, the primal inclination strategy, gave me insight into how masters recognize their inclination at an early age. It may come in the form of a particular object, as was the case with Albert Einstein when his father first gave him a compass, or in the form of a particular activity, as was the case for Martha Graham when she saw her first dance performance. The second, the Darwinian strategy, comes with two paths. The Ramachandran path, where one looks for side paths that can lead to a more narrow focus, and the Matsuoka path, where when one has mastered their own field of choice, they begin to search for other subjects or skills that can also be mastered. The third, the rebellion strategy, is when one is led down a false path because of a desire to make more money, gain more fame, or as was the case with Mozart, to please another. In this instance, the person eventually rebels against these outside forces and chooses the path that is best for them. The fourth, the adaptation strategy, is when a person within their chosen field finds a new direction. In the case of Freddie Roach, he was not in love with boxing as much as he was with the competitive nature of sports. This led him to develop a new way to train boxers that had never been explored before. The fifth and last strategy, the life or death strategy, I found to be very similar to the rebellion strategy. It is where when one finds themselves going down a path they are not destined to be on and they sink further into unhappiness and despair, as was the case for Buck Minister Fuller who spent years failing at endeavors that were not a part of his life's path. This led him to feelings of frustration, and he found himself broke with a ruined reputation. It was a matter of life or death for him to find his true path. The Ramachandran path from the Darwinian strategy is most like how my life has progressed. I have spent the past seven plus years working in Title I schools, and I've seen firsthand the progress students can make when provided access to technology. My turning point was this past school year, which was very frustrating for me, confined by the dynamics of a school that had poor access to technology and relied on the traditional form of education. My dream path is to be either a teacher trainer in a school district or a corporate trainer. With my experience and a master's degree in instructional design and technology from Full Sail, I want to help develop curricula that incorporates technology and prepares 21st century learners. My two goals over the next three weeks are to become more proficient with my MacBook Pro, and to develop a calendar that helps best manage my time between family, school, and work. I'm excited about this new journey, and I can see my life's path more clearly than ever before.